Famcast Media. Bitch. Happy Easter, demons and demonesses. Also, happy Trans Day of Visibility. And happy, um, whatever holiday you're celebrating right now. Now today is March 31st, which is known as Transgender Day of Visibility. Now this first holiday was coined back in 2009. President Joe Biden was the first United States president to acknowledge that this holiday exists. And he's been celebrating this every year during his term. Well, today all things changes because now religious conservatives are triggered by it. And you want to know why? Because it just so happens that this year, Transgender Day of Visibility falls on the same day as Easter. I have a clip for you guys. Let's watch it together. Now to this. Critics say Biden and the woke mob are taking a swipe at Christians this Easter. This year, Easter Sunday falls on Transgender Visibility Day, which is traditionally on March 31st. But this year, not only did Fairfax County, Virginia, make an official proclamation for Easter Sunday, so did President Biden. Biden was the first president ever to issue an official proclamation for Transgender Day of Visibility. And this was back in 2021. And in his proclamation this year, he said, quote, Today, we send a message to all transgender Americans. You are loved. You are heard. You are understood. You belong. You are America. And my entire administration and I have your back. The Fairfax County Board making a similar proclamation this week. I'm just very happy that we're recognizing uh, a community that has too often been pushed into the shadows and celebrating uh, yet another um, community within our diverse tapestry here in Fairfax County. Okay, so this a day actually goes back to 2010. And when President Biden first made this proclamation back in 2021, that year Easter was on April 4th, except this year they both happen on the same day, Lisa. But it's also a random day created by a random person out of Michigan in the same way that I could declare March 30th is the day of Lisa. All right, so I'm going to stop right here. Now they're saying their whole argument about um, East about Easter and Transgender Day of Remembrance um, being a random day celebrating on a on a random day of the year. But I'm like, isn't that kind of what Easter is? Like Easter doesn't even have a set date. It changes every fucking year. And matter of fact, um, I remember a couple of years ago, Easter Sunday was on April Fool's Day. So, but yet there was no outrage over that. So, like, spare me with all this bullshit. Uh, the White House also banned religious themed designs from the White House Easter uh, egg art contest. When the whole point of Easter is to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ as a religious holiday, a religious celebration. All right, so I'm going to have to object to that, too, because first off, we do have a United States Constitution which says Congress shall make no law in respect to an establishment of a religion. It's part of the establishment clause, the establishment clause within the First Amendment. So that's the thing, you know, these religious conservatives claim they care so much about the Constitution, but yet they haven't even fucking read the bloody thing. And second of all, like every other holiday in this country, Easter has been tremendously commercialized to the fact where you know, its religious message has basically been lost. You know, you see, you walk into the store, you see painted eggs, you see rabbits, you see, you know, um, you see baskets, chickens, peeps, marshmallows. All of that is heavily, what does all of that have to do with Jesus? You, you, you explain that to me. You know, it's the same thing with Christmas. You, have, you know, you have the Christmas trees, you have Santa Claus, you have elves. Like, that has nothing to do with the birth of Jesus Christ. But yet you have no problem with that. But if a trans person wants to say, hey, you know, this is a holiday where, you know, you acknowledge that we exist, where you acknowledge, you know, all the accomplishments that transgender people made, where you want to talk about, you know, all the hoops and hurdles that trans people have to jump through. And you're saying, and you're, and you're more offended by that. 
unbelievable. Uh, to celebrate the day of trans visibility in and of itself is an affront to Christianity because the Bible says that God made man and he made woman. He made male and female. To say otherwise is to deny the truth, is to deny God's creation. Well, last time I checked, you know, this is a book that's like thousands upon thousands of years old, which was not written by any, you know, doctor or scientist like that. And also another thing, you're saying God created male and female. Well, if God created male and female, then where the hell did intersex people come from? Where the hell did all of these people with extra chromosomes come in? You know, you have people that have, you know, an extra X chromosome. You have XXY, XXYY. Uh, I, honestly, I can't even name all of them. But I'm like, if, if your God only created XX and XY, then where did all the other things come from? Like I said, it's, it's about time we get we get into the present day and stop living by this old ancient book. Like, it's, this, like I said, this, this book literally means nothing. It's outdated. That's like... A si that's like reading a science textbook from the year 1991. Now, back then, we thought Pluto was a planet. Now, fast forward, we find out it's just a dwarf planet. So, like I said, the Bible, just like every other book, needs to be updated. But since these religious conservatives are too stupid to update their own book, they'd rather just live in the past and, and then complain about it, and then now they want to act like they're fucking victims. Oh, shut the fuck up. Uh, also... To do it on Easter is blasphemous. You can even go back to the last Trans Day of Visibility in 2023. He celebrated after Christian individuals were murdered by a trans person at the Covenant School in Nashville. And then the White House proceeded to go on and say that it was the trans community under attack, not Christianity. So I am so sorry that I believe that Joe Biden understands the optics of it, and he is doing this intentionally, and he is thumbing his nose at Christians and Easter, and he's essentially spitting in the face of Christians everywhere. Okay, so like I said, these people want to be victims so fucking badly. You know, they, they want to look at trans people, which is like not even 1%, less than 1% of the population. And you're claiming that those people are oppressing Christians, which make up 70 to 80% of the population. It makes no fucking sense. Like, how many how many laws have transgender people passed to outlaw um, Christian marriage, to outlaw, you know, taking your kids to Sunday school, to outlaw Christians adopting kids? Zero. Zero. Z E. Oh, oh, now compare that to, you know, the, the laws that Christians have did to oppress members of the LGBTQ community. Like just recently, as of today, there's been over 500, 500 bills made to, you know, go after trans people, to go after drag queens, to go after, you know, queer, queer couples that want to adopt children. But yet Christians are under attack. Even though that majority of the people in this country celebrate Christian holidays, celebrate Christmas, celebrate Easter, you know, go to church, you know, regularly, although the number has dropped, it's still the majority of the population. So explain to me how you're the fucking victim. And another thing about the Covenant School, you know, um, I think the officers did a good job, you know, handling that situation and neutralizing the shooter. But apart from that, how many, you know, trans people are murdered by Christians? I'm pretty sure a lot of them. I did, I've done stories several times of trans people that were brutally murdered just for existing. And I'm and I'm almost positive that the people that are doing it believe in some sort of God. You know, I'm, I, I seriously doubt you have a bunch of atheists going around just murdering trans people for no reason. Well, we also have, there's a Virginia mom who told Fox News Digital, uh, Stephanie Lundquist, that, quote, they are intentionally trying to offend Christians on the holiest of days by forcing gender ideology down their throats. This is reprehensible and unbecoming of our elected representatives, David. Well, that's the thing. You're saying that they're trying to shove gender ideology down your throat. Well, first off, if you're not born transgender, then guess what? You're not going to be transgender. There's no way you can force someone to be transgender or force it down your throat. Trans people exist. Live with it, you bloody idiot. Isn't Joe Biden Catholic? Yes. Okay, just checking. Um, I'm with Lisa. This is not a thing. 
it was made up. It's like Kwanzaa. It was made up by somebody to do something. Who are they appealing to? There are roughly 1.6 million or so people in the U.S., according to some reports, that identify as transgender. Where are they going? But here's what they've done. They're gaslighting the American people because of the coincidence of this made-up day versus an actual day that means something to billions of people worldwide. Okay, so... <laughs> How ironic that the black man on Fox News is coming out against Kwanzaa saying it's a made up holiday. L lad, the entire religion that you believe in was made up, well, not just made up, but also plagiarized. Where do you think the whole idea of rabbits and painted eggs comes from? Well, if you guys don't know, this whole idea of Easter originally was a pagan holiday meant to represent, you know, life and rebirth. Also ironic that, you know, that the pagan holiday that's, you know, supposed to represent life and rebirth is when their god supposedly enters in a cheat code and respawns from the dead. Well, what kind of shit is that? Most modern Christian holidays originated from the ancient Anglo-Saxon people, the ancient Germanic tribes, the ancient Slavic tribe. How ironic that all of these Christian holidays happen nearly at the same time that these pagan traditions happen. And to say it's a made-up holiday, well, practically every, most holidays are made up at one point in time. They weren't always existent since the dawn of time. Now all of a sudden, uh, a trans person say, hey, you know, let's make this a holiday. You're having a, you're having a big fit about it. But I'm, at the same time, you know, I'm pretty sure conservatives were upset when, you know, Black History Month became a holiday. I'm pretty sure that conservatives were upset when Martin Luther King Day became a holiday. But, you know, you, you probably won't hear David Webb say some shit like this because, you know, it's socially unacceptable to say some shit like that, and rightfully so. But yeah, every holiday was made up at one point in time. Let's move on from this. Not just here in the United States. They want us talking about them. And this whole thing with the Easter egg hunt, now I've been to a few of those. It's a lot of fun. You eat a lot of too many eggs. But part of it was people expressing themselves. So now the government under the Biden auspice will tell you that you can't present a religious, First Amendment, a religious imagery on an egg. Well, no one is saying that. What they're saying is that they, as the government, will not paint Christian designs on eggs. If you want to paint it on the egg yourself, there's no law out there that's stopping you from doing it. They're just saying the government ha is, is keeping religion where religion needs to be and, you know, a tradition where that needs to be. Like I said, every holiday in this country has been secularized and commercialized at one point. What, why is it that it's, it's taking you now until 2024 to realize that? But then again, I mean, if anything, David Webb should be happy about this because this is what happens when you capitalize off of a holiday. This is just capitalism. If you don't like capitalism, then move to fucking North Korea. I mean, again, this is get yeah, this. I'm even more cynical than Lisa. This is gaslighting. Oh, I was, not. I was trying topic. to be calm. <laughs> yeah, how could you be that calm? Because I know you're not. No, but seriously, they're just gaslighting us into this topic. This is false. Just like this quote, day of visibility. You're visible every other day of the year. Well, if they were visible every other day of the year, then we wouldn't have people aren't you trying to take away their rights trying to say that trans people don't exist, trying to say that trans people aren't valid. That's what this day is for. But yet people within your religious group are the ones that are trying to, you know, wipe trans people off the face of the bloody planet. The irony of these people, I mean, like I said, they, they want to be the victim so fucking badly. Jesus Christ. How ironic I say Jesus Christ, holy hell. Okay. Joey, I'm going to have to get you on the next one. I'm so sorry. Yeah. There, I got to go. Well, I guess we were spared from hearing what the fourth guy had to say. He's probably just going to go along with everyone else on the panel. Oh, yep. Join the Waterhead Club. Yep, yep, yep. The transgender people are bad. Jesus is God. Jesus is the king of the United States, and he deserves to sit in the White House. Once he responds to the dirty, 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 yep, 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 yep. See, this is just, you know a small taste of what Christian nationalism looks like. And guarantee you, if, the, if you give these people one ounce of political power, 
they will take this and crank it up to the max. We already see what's going on in Poland, where they're arresting musicians for, you know, ripping books. What religious conservatives don't understand is that not everyone believes in the same God that they do. You know, there's over 28,000 different gods out there. Those people are allowed to practice whatever religion that they want to practice. And to be honest with you, stuff like this, it's what's turning people away from Christianity, which is why you're seeing a surge of, you know, Slavic paganism making a comeback, Norse paganism making a comeback, Germanic paganism making a comeback, Anglo-Saxon paganism making a comeback. It's only a matter of time before, you know, people within my demographic and the and the younger demographic and gen alpha and gen z and all those other people say hey you know what this isn't for me i need to find another path in life which is why so many people are now identifying as spiritual rather than religious now another thing that they mention is that joe biden is catholic well now from the way i see it the catholic church knows this they know that they're losing young people they know that they're going to lose the next generation so what they're having to do is they have to adapt. Otherwise, if they don't adapt, then they will fall into irrelevance, which is exactly what's happening to a lot of these right-wing fundamentalist churches out there. They're losing young people. Uh, less and less young people are attending church on a regular basis. And uh, honestly, it's the reason why I even left the church because a shit lot of this. And you know, you read the Bible, you know, Jesus says one thing, but yet you guys believe something completely different. You're going around attacking innocent people. You know, you, you, you disrespect, you know, the sojourners. You disrespect people that happen to be born a certain way. And, and that's how exactly how God created them. But yet, for some reason, you, I don't even think these people actually believe in the same God that they worship. I think they're just making the whole bullshit up as it goes along. But I'm already ranting and rambling at this point. That's basically all I have to say. Um... But, but let me know what you think. Are these guys making any valid points or are they just trying to, you know, play the victim card? But that's it, demons and demonesses. Uh, you guys have a happy Easter, um, happy trans day of visibility, you know, happy pagan holiday or whatever holiday you're celebrating right now. Uh, stay safe, stay metal, hail Satan, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.